the frosty relationship between President Huru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto has dragged a section of the cabinet into the bare knuckle conflict. Interior Affairs Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi taking on the deputy president over allocation of functions in the Jubilee administration. Matiangi accused by Ruto and his brigade of taking the responsibilities he executed in the Jubilee administration's first term between 2013 and 2017. I frankly hoped nobody would ask me that kind of question because uh, those who are saying that are the ones who should be asked to explain what job I took from them because I'm not the one talking about taking a job from someone. Those who are talking about it and making those claims are the ones who should actually be asked to explain what job I took from them. If it wasn't a serious matter that touches on the stability of the country, you would even actually laugh about it. At the heart of the conflict is the executive order number one of 2019 that restructured government and established the National Development Implementation and Communication Cabinet Committee chaired by Matiangi with seven key functions, top among them provision of supervisory leadership throughout the delivery cycle of all national government programs and projects. In the recent weeks, a number of my colleagues and I in cabinet have been having conversations about the limits uh, of uh, this edict of collective responsibility. There are certain things we would like to say. We have suffered restraint, especially in the last four or five years. There are certain things we have avoided commenting on because we respect certain offices and we respect that edict of con uh, uh, collective responsibility. It, it, it now would appear that uh, others are going out of it and so on, but it's still because we defer to and respect His Excellency the President, would like to consult further on when we can actually talk about those kinds of things. With 93 days to the polls, Matiangi says cabinet members may soon be forced to engage the Deputy President publicly over confidential government operations. I think a time is coming, soon, rather than later, when the country needs to be told some truth that they need to know about those kinds of irresponsible claims and very wild allegations that are being made by people. But, but uh, if it continues this way, then, then and people want a street discussion on that kind of matter. We are more than ready to do it. The Deputy President and Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance Brigade have taken issue with Matiangi and his cabinet colleagues, as well as senior government officials who have openly backed ODM leader Raila Odinga's presidential bid. Did I become a CS now? I, I wasn't a CS in 2017. And we were around, moving around with them. Now because I am not with them, or I am not on the platform with them, now I am breaking the law. I wasn't breaking the law in 2017. They can tell that to the birds. Thanks. Claims of a grand scheme to rig the presidential election using state security machinery have been made by the Ruto Axis with a direct reference to Matiangi and ICT Cabinet Secretary Joe Mushero. If they are going to investigate, they should be investigating the office of the deputy president which has so much more resource than Mosheru here for them to say that I can influence the election then he can influence even more than me. This is just uh, political games, people who are afraid that uh, maybe they won't win and they're trying to look for scapegoats. UDA has written to the electoral body IBC seeking an assurance that the August polls will be free, fair, credible and devoid of government interference. Francis Gashuri, Citizen TV.